Sabbath greetings to you. Puffed up envy, anger, jealousy, pride. What is God waiting for you to surrender, to let go? <coughs> and of course, we're waiting for the Lord. I said to my wife yesterday, are you ready? Are you waiting in expectation or fear? Oh, but I don't know if I'm right. I don't know if I'm, well. It's his return. It's his Rightful, righteous return. Be ready. Make yourself ready. Drop off, drop off those things that make you <coughs> not ready. Oh, but I don't know if I'm good enough. I don't know if I'm well. Ultimately, you'll have to sit in front of the mercy seat anyway. God showed me so many things. and <clears throat> I fail in so many ways. I call upon it. I don't like this life. And I do like this life. People are so busy and captivated by the things of this world, but by the things of their lives the, 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 it's hard to say small thing because they're important things to them Jesus will come And whether it's now, whether you're living and breathing and active, or whether it's when you're asleep, <coughs> he'll come and will you be ready? Brilliant. Fantastic. Amazing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Worthy is the Lamb. Glory, hallelujah. All the struggle, all the small things. I count them as loss. I, 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 I look upon them no more because all I want to do is look upon your face. All I want to do is walk in your kingdom. All I want to do is be surrounded by the fellowship of the saints and your love forever. Worshipping you. Worshipping you. Worshipping you and all this stuff was so petty, it was so small. Lost. Craving for sexual contact. The chasing after dollars and dimes, the, the, the refuse and the garbage. 
and yet it's also because it's part of God's creation and God's plan and it was necessary for us to be in heaven then it's also in a way its own way magnificent but something to be set aside a, a, a lesser vehicle to, to borrow a phrase from Manyana Buddhism from Buddhism the greater vehicle the greater life the greater part the best of it there's some point in the future that we can't see and no one knows the date and the day so it, it could be no it's not now it could be <coughs> tomorrow, it could be later today, it could be a month from now, a week from now, a year from now, a lifetime from now. I call upon the Lord, I call upon him, I say, come Lord Jesus, come Lord Jesus, come Lord Jesus. Take me away from this. Take me away from the struggle, the stress, the strife, my pride, my vanity, my puffed up nature, my sexual deviancy. Even if it means my life. I'm tired. I called upon you to place the millstone around my neck and I drop like a stone. I look for meaningful employment. I pray for meaningful employment so I can have money and a car and a house and all the things of this world again. I pray to be useful in your kingdom. And if I'm not useful in your kingdom, I pray for you to come and just take me away. <coughs> Shut off my life and light. I love you, Lord. I want to glorify you. I want to point to you. Tell the world of what you've done. How I was lost and broken and afraid and arrogant and rude, selfish and mean, savage. But how you reached me and transformed me, how. how you open the understanding of the message of your son, Jesus Christ, of what he's done, of what he's doing, of what he will do. To invigorate and inflame the hearts and minds of others. Not that it's my work, not that the things will point to me, not for my glory, but for yours, for your kingdom. Because you are worthy, because Jesus is worthy, because God, you're majestic, wonderful, counselor, guide, wise, wisdom beyond wisdom. That you can satisfy. More deeply and wider and, and, and further, longer than any physical expression. That it's real, that it's true, that the very resonance and vibration of the atoms. As the universe speak of your majesty, that the stars and the planets 
the galaxy spinning. Talk of your wisdom and grace. The heaven declares the righteousness of my king. And the universe shows his handiwork. How each and every one of us, each and every one of us is, a, is talked of as handiwork. <clears throat> In the same way the formation of the world is talked of. And the stars, galaxies. And we're not just, you know, kind of <laughs> liked. We're loved with a, with, a, with a deepness of love and a sense of affection that transcends everything that we know. Such love. Such love. That he would come down from heaven and give his life that we might recapture the rapture and not be caught up with the small things, but to be caught up with the the biggest thing that we could live in fellowship, that we could live in. Positivity, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> Loving, promoting, caring, nurturing, growing, giving, truthful, trustworthy, blessed, fellowship. Steward the world, steward it into a better situation, into better relationships, into better lives. All in the name. And, and not because we're liberal um, socialist conservatives but because we follow Jesus because Jesus is the way the truth of the life Jesus was the pointer the example that we need to follow to give us the ideas of compassion and, and charity and sanctity and sanctuary and safety and love The selfish reasoning of men, the the the, the <clears throat> need for greed, the raising up of idols and worship of other gods is just wrong, pointless. Oh, well, there's a point to it. I feel great. Driving in my car and living in my big house and looking down on other people gives me a sense of satisfaction. And I pray that you open your eyes and start looking with those new eyes for the lives you can help and heal and strengthen, build, help overcome in small ways. message of Western culture is, is one that's twisted by an enemy that we have, Satan, Lucifer. Former angel of heaven. The devil is in the detail, Hollywood will tell you. No, he, he can't cope with it. God is in the detail. He's in all things and through all things. And he knows our thoughts and how I will I, you know, I have to surrender my free will. I'm on rails. 
He did all of this for each of us to have a relationship. He wanted someone to have a relationship with, to share the work that he'd done. And if we, we'd been on rails, <clears throat> there won't be freedom, but you know, the idea of giving freedom, he knew what it caused, he knew what it meant. It's not that they were on rails and there's no decision making. He just doesn't he doesn't force us to choose this way or that. It just it grieves him when we choose wrongly. I came to the house that I now currently live in. And uh, we just lost a house that we've been blessed with, that we'd prayed for. And we'd lost it because we dishonoured God, me and the other tenants of the house. I lied on a on the application form. I remember sending it off thinking, why did I lie? God is truth. And don't overcome evil with evil, you overcome evil with good. All these things that just tell us very simply, God's with us. God's got this. God's in control. God's sovereign. As long as we keep choosing rightly and looking to him for the decision making, not, 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 Choosing. He'll be with us. So it left us with uh, two days to find a house in Auckland, rent. Can't do it. Ask people who've lived in Auckland for a long time in New Zealand. And no, you can't do it because it's a, a, quite a mean society. I came to see this house and <clears throat> I parked here where I'm stood after seeing it and I really liked it. It was more expensive. It wasn't the house we prayed for and, and there was um, penitence needed and, and repentance. And to, Surrender that sin, those lies that are told, and, and pray for the others to start honouring and coming to acceptance of who God is and knowing that our lives, our day-to-day -day lives in the small things, we've still got to seek him, to follow him, to say, Lord, what's the best way of doing this? And he'll answer. He always answers. I said, Lord, if I, if you get we get this house, I'll dedicate a little uh, room, like an extension, a little. It's a, one of the biggest rooms in the bedrooms in the house. And we got it, and we moved in in two days. I dedicated that room and everybody ignored it. They ignored the worship, you know, the praise. Oh no, bar for one person. Two people. But it was fits and starts, once and twice, not not daily in fellowship. I can't understand it. I can't understand how people can't get that in their heads. God is who he says he is. It's true, all true. Every part of it, everything that's written in the book is real. The yearning and the desire of the maker of heaven and earth to, to, to be in relationship, a loving relationship with us, to walk with us and talk with us, and, and, and that one day all this will be exchanged for a place in glory where he'll put a crown of gold on your head and robe you from head to toe in white linen. 
and you'll live in a place where there's no suffering, no pain, no shame, no guilt, no anger, no rage, no enemy, no disease, no sickness, no death, forever. It'll be perfect and, and, and more beautiful than we can imagine. That's what's written better than, than we can imagine. No refuse, no decay, no garbage. All the things that really, if you look at it, pull us away from God and pull us into the ditch and mire. We've still got choice. Distracted by the oily things, by the filth. And it won't be there. So why not in the brief time that we've got, and it is brief, we're like a vapour in the wind, the best of us, the healthiest of us. Put it to good use, put put it, you know, a portion of it aside, if not all of it. To worship in him and welcoming him and glorifying him and making a joyful noise to him that other people can hear your community is real your neighbourhood oh well, I live out in a wild somewhere move that's not what you're called to be you must be in it and not of it in it is examples and yes there'll be places of retreat and blessing refreshment and restoration So many people, you know, they cloy after a holiday here and a getaway there and this and that. A new life, a new place, looking over the fences and going, oh, that's where I'd like to be. Well, this is where you need to be happy. This is where you need to be content. This is where you need to surrender yourself and have it exchanged. And God does that, changes your heart. And he doesn't go, oh, no, it might be counted, you know, counted against you or count. He does it because he loves us. Because he yearns and desires to be in relationship with us. And if you've not got that, you know, if it's not amazingly different. And I don't mean meeting you once in terms of being in charge of people or having an explanation that you can use against people. I'm talking about your life has changed forever. Then seek him more. Look for that. And don't stop until that happens. God is real. God is good. And God is waiting patiently for us to come to him, to surrender ourselves to him. Then he'll send his son. Then he'll come again because his church is ready and waiting to receive him. Can you get things and be given things? It's a rental. I live in the garage. But you see the orb up there, it's bursting through the cloud. I'll fly one day around that. I'll rise up. And on that day, none of this will matter. And I'll be looking at the face of Jesus going, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And if at that point he judges me as not being right enough for the things I get wrong, well, I love him enough and trust him enough to, to say that's enough for me. It is your choice. That's what surrender is. It won't be because of my works or my wiles. It be because when it came down to it, <clears throat> when I was in the bottom... 
worship him. Have a good time, be nice to each other.